Today, we're reimposing all sanctions that were previously lifted under the nuclear deal. This includes sanctions on energy banking, shipping, and shipbuilding industries. Since the Trump administration came into office, we've done 19 rounds of sanctions, targeting 168 Iranian entities. Today's sanctions will accelerate the rapid decline of international economic activity in Iran since the implementation of our strategy in May. Since that time, since back in May, over 100 companies have withdrawn from Iran or canceled plans to do business there. It should be noted that if a company evades our sanctions regime and secretly continues sanctionable commerce in the Islamic Republic, the United States will levy severe, swift penalties on it, including potential sanctions. I promise you that doing business with Iran in defiance of our sanctions will ultimately be a much more painful business decision than pulling out of Iran and it being connected to Iran entirely. More than 20 importing nations have zeroed out their imports of crude oil already, taking more than 1 million barrels of crude per day off the market. The regime to date, since May, has lost over $2.5 billion in oil revenue. We have decided to issue uh, temporary allotments to a handful of countries, responsive both to the specific circumstances and to ensure a well-supplied oil market. The U.S. will be granting these exemptions to China, India, Italy, Greece, Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, and Turkey. Each of those countries has already demonstrated significant reductions of the purchase of Iranian crude over the past six months, and indeed two of those eight have already completely ended imports of Iranian crude and will not resume as long as the sanctions regime remains in place. Rest assured, Iran will never come close to getting a nuclear weapon on President Trump's watch.